Ambassador Fred Hoff, what do you think is behind this reported abduction of these Syrian Christians? My sense of it is that, uh, is that ISIL very much wants to stay in the news. And this is a relatively easy, cheap way to do it. Uh, their objective here is to stay in the news so they can uh, continue their outreach to the, uh, to the disaffected of the world and uh, continue to recruit. So they're not all that particular about how outrageous any given act yeah, is. Yeah, because the prospects for these kidnapped people is pretty slim. Probably, probably not very good, sadly. What are the options then for the international community? Because we had John Kerry, the Secretary of State, effectively admitting today that since the bombing started at the end of last summer, uh, Islamic State has actually expanded slightly its territory in Syria. Yeah, my, uh, my strong suspicion is that, uh, is that Ash Carter, the new Secretary of Defense, uh, is, going to do a, is going to do a fresh scrub on the strategy here. Uh, the objective is clear, to uh, defeat ISIL militarily. The strategy as it stands right now seems to rest on having a train and equip program that would recruit Syrian rebels. Now, they're the right people to recruit. They're fighting ISIL right now as they're fighting the Assad regime also. Uh, but this is a program three years in duration uh, that at the end of the day would produce approximately 15 or 16,000 Troops. Okay, so if we have this to move a, quicker than a, that, yeah. and everybody accepts that this has to be done, it can't be done from the air because we're bombing and they're recruiting and yes. they're expanding their territory. Who are those other boots, and how does the conversation go with those countries that says, right, risk your people, put them in the ground in Syria? Yeah, clearly, clearly, chasing these characters from the air with high-performance aircraft over the next three years is not on. Uh, this is not, a, this is not a, a strategy, and I think this is going to be reviewed. I think what's required, and I suspect what will happen, will be a major American diplomatic effort to talk to various parties in the region to see if somehow a ground component uh, can be put together in eastern Syria to complement uh, the aircraft we have in the skies, and, and this is not going to be easy because right. these various parties want various things. Turkey, for instance, is a, is a country that certainly has the capability to provide a very adept ground component in Syria. Turkey will want some kind of assurances that at the end of the day, the root cause of all of this problem the Bashar al-Assad regime will be dealt with. And absent that, I think, uh, I think it's going to be very, very, very difficult to recruit the Turks to this kind of endeavor. It's very hard to see how this policy goes. Ambassador Fred Hope, thanks very much for coming in. It's my in. pleasure.